Good evening, and welcome to Newcastle After Dark. We are your hosts, The Management. Coming to you from the land of Covert's Crossing and Hillview Manor, bringing you films that are a feast for the mind. Tonight we bring you our first annual Halloween double feature. It has been suggested by some of our subscribers, so we chose to comply. And the first film we bring you tonight is 1981's Made for TV, Dark Night of the Scarecrow. This stars Charles Durning, Larry Drake, and uh, Robert Lyons. Yes, and it was written by J.D. Fiegelson. Uh, this is directed by Frank D. Felita, um, who was a uh, novelist, I think, who was best well known for having written um, Audrey Rose and uh, The Entity. And they were both made in the major films. Uh, the Entity had Barbara Hershey. That's right. And uh, Audrey Rose had um, Anthony Hopkins. Yes. Yes, both very good movies as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, of course, this was aired on CBS in 81. Yeah, October 24th. So it must have been their movie for Halloween as well. Yes. Yeah. And we think this is very fitting for the season. Oh, it, it's a dark little film. It is. And we think you're going to enjoy it. Absolutely. So sit back, relax, and enjoy 1981's Dark Night of the Scarecrow. Better? So you can do it? <laughs> Look, Bubba. Isn't it beautiful? It's a leg. Everybody gets one when they go to Hawaii. Here's one for you, Bubba. Baba. You have to. It's the custom. <laughs> 
It comes with the flower. Let me give it back. liable to do. Yes. Well, let's get down there and break it up then. Now, what good would it do? Two days, he'll be back again just like before. Not this time. I'm going to teach that moron a lesson. You're wasting your time. Just you wait and see. When I get through with him... You're wasting your time. He's an idiot. He can't remember. You ought to know that by now. Well, what do we do then? Nothing. Nothing? Wait a minute. I don't understand this. It was your idea he's dangerous in the first place. You're the one who always wants to run down there and rub his face in the dirt. What happened all of a sudden? You changed your mind. He's a blight. I think we didn't cut one and just spray and spray to get rid of, but always keep coming back. No, I haven't changed my mind. Something's got to be done. It has to be permanent. Hey, Otis. Uh, I'll kick him around a little. Have a little fun with him, but uh, well, that's as far as I'm going to go. Well, what would you do if something happened out there? Well, that's different. You know what I'd do. There'd be a reason. Uh-huh. Say hello to the missus for me.
right, all right, I'm coming. done it. The Williams girl? Just like you said. How bad? She's dead, Otis. The sheriff's calling for volunteers. Everybody's gonna meet over at the courthouse. No. We'll do this ourselves. Let's get the dogs and the guns. Come on, come on, come on, here, yeah, come Nobody's gonna hurt you. You hear? Nobody's gonna hurt you. Mama's not gonna let them. Damn them! Anything happen in that town and they come blaming you. Now get up here. <laughs> Listen to me. Now you remember what we did the last time. We played a game, the hiding game, remember? Hiding game. 
The hiding game. I remember. I remember. The hiding. I can play it. Good, Mama. I know. Now, come on. We're going to play it again. Come on. Come on. Game. Come on. We're going to play it again. I'm going to play the hiding yes. game. Yes. Yes. We're going to play it again. you're doing. We come for it, Miss Ritter. In a pig's eye. This is official. Official? Who do you think you are? The only thing official you ever done is lick stamps. Now get off my place. He's wounded, Miss Ritter. I don't believe it. You're just out here to torment him again. What's he supposed to have done? What do you think? Frank Williams' daughter. No. He wouldn't hurt nobody, especially a child. Don't you understand? He loves children. He plays with them because he's no older than them in his head. He's 36 years old, Mrs. Ritter. He's physically mature. Now, where is he? He ain't here. Dogs say different. I ain't seen him. We'll tear this place apart if we have to. Over my dead body. I'm warning you. You're obstructing justice. And you ain't the law. You're obstructing justice and aiding a fugitive. And you're trespassing, and this is my you property. Him, and you just get the, the hell off. Mrs. Ritter? Mrs. Ritter? <laughs> On something over here. Don't worry, he was in the house. Maybe he's headed across the field. Same thing he did the last time we lost him. Not this time. We got dogs. We got dogs. Come on. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
out there? Yeah, Ludy, go ahead. Hey, where are you at? We're out here at the Ritter Place. What are you doing out there? They called everything off a half hour ago. What the hell are you talking about? Hadn't you heard? Little girl's all right. It's all a mistake. Hank Renfro's dog jumped her. They've already released her from the clinic, sent her home. Funny part is, old Bubba saved her life. Ain't that a laugh? Hey, Harless, you reading me? They're legal or otherwise. Objection, objection, Your Honor. The sheriff called for volunteers, and the district attorney knows it. He is deliberately harassing my client. They are vigilantes, and anyone who doesn't understand that is either blind or incompetent. I mean, the man was helpless, for God's sake. <coughs> That's a lie, and you know it. Sorry, Your Honor. I almost forgot. He had a pitchfork. Against four men with guns. He might as well have had a, a feather duster against that firing squad. I object, I object, Your Honor. Now, everybody get quiet now. Tonight is the last time I'm going to put up with that. Now, either you people are going to observe the quorum in this hearing, or I'm going to hold you in contempt. Otis, I want you to tell this court whether you or these men gave the deceased a chance to surrender himself. You under oath. Yes, Your Honor, we did. Several times. In fact, we even fired shots in the air. We did everything we possibly could not to hurt him. We had to defend ourselves. De defend yourselves? The man had 21 bullet wounds in him. Objection, objection, Your Honor. Now, once more, I'm going to clear this room. Yeah, but will the attorney come on up here to the bench? Now, gentlemen, we have got a very delicate situation on. Now, we have to be extremely careful. Sam, these men are members of the community. They're not criminals. But, Your Honor, they went out. Sam, I'll tell you the truth. After listening to the arguments, I don't think you have a case against them. Henry, Your Honor, these men went out with no legal Sam, right. They... Sam, Sam, you have produced no witnesses. You have produced no evidence. You have not shown me one thing to prove that what happened is any different than what they say. Now, do you have anything else? Do you have anything else to present? No. Well, all right. 
After reviewing the evidence and testimony in this hearing, I find it insufficient to establish probable cause, and I'm ordering the defendants released from custody immediately. No! Oh! They're murderers! They killed my son! They killed my son! They murdered him! They murdered him! It ain't right that you let him go free! They killed my boy! They killed my boy! You may think that you're getting all free, but there's other justice in this world besides the law. <laughs> Court is adjourned. <laughs> I want to tell you, men, one thing. I think you executed that man, and I promise you this. If I ever find a single shred of evidence, I'll see every one of you on death row. Am I keeping you, Mr. Hazelrig? Huh? Oh, well, I was just noticing the time. It's, uh... Tuesday, and Mrs. Bunch will be having fried chicken over at their boarding house right there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, chicken! <laughs> I've got these no strong men deep! Ah, chicken! <laughs> will he sit? Will, will he sit? Ah, chicken! Will, will he sit? <laughs> How is she? Oh, Frank. In these past few weeks, I've never been so frightened in my life. I know, honey. It's over now. She's going to be just fine. Try and relax. You know, I never realized she was so attached to that man. What do you mean? That's the first thing she asked about. Where's Papa? What's happened to Papa? I had to stop her from getting out of bed. She was going out to see him. But didn't you tell her? I didn't have the heart to, especially in her condition. I just told her we'd talk about it another time. Oh, Frank, what am I going to tell her? Don't tell her anything. Just let it lie.
Papa? Papa, you asleep? All the other acts in three. Papa? You should be home in bed. You're going to get sick. We're going to go down by the fire and get you warm. Where's Baba? What? He's not in his room. I looked. Oh, child. Nobody told you. Bubba's gone. Gone? Where? Well, where they can't hurt him no more. Well, when is he coming back? It's not, sweetheart. Never? He can't sing flower song by himself. He only knows his ABCs up to D. I've got to find him, Mrs. Ritter. He's just learned to tie a bow knot in his shoelaces. Oh, dear. Don't cry, Mrs. Ritter. I'll help you find him. Really. I know all the places he likes to go and where he hides. Oh, come on, I'll show you. I'll oh, show you. Merrily. Come on. Merrily, wait, child. Don't understand. Merrily. 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 Just for you and me, just for you. 
for you and me. Don't worry, Mrs. Bitter. Bub is not gone. He's just been stealing. Don't you know what he's doing? He's playing the hiding game. Good morning, Mr. Hazelrig. Morning, Mrs. Wimberly. How are you today? Ever better, Mrs. Wimberly. Thank Never you. Better. Thank you. Come on, keep it moving, you sucker! Mrs. Hocker. See you again. What's the matter with you? Can't you see I'm busy? You ever see me planting this time of year? Oh, no. Well, why do you ask a lame brain thing like that? Well, I just thought it's kind of strange. I mean, if you're not planting, why would you put up a scarecrow? Nobody better kick around now that Bubba's gone. What the hell are you talking about? Don't act dumb. You know damn well what I'm talking about. Putting that thing out there at my feet. What thing? The scarecrow. Well, Harley, we didn't do it. I swear to God, we didn't do it, wasn't it? Mm. 
Mr. Hazelrig. Mr. Hazelrig. Yes? What is it? You have some visitors downstairs. Visitors? Yes, I told them you were taking a nap before dinner, but they insisted I wake you up. Okay, Mrs. Bunch. I'll be down in a minute. Fellas? Uh, wonder if we could see you, Otis. Well, uh, couldn't it wait? I think we're getting ready to have dinner. Otis, now. Well, all right. Come on. What the hell is this? I told you never to come over here. You know how this looks? He's seen it, Otis. Seen what? The scarecrow. The same one. Bullet holes, everything, just like before. Except now it's filled with straw. Where? In my pasture. I figured they'd done it. What not? Nice. Square Mr. Hisery don't know nothing about it. Somebody knows, Otis. No. He didn't walk out there by itself. Nobody knows. Somebody put it there. Of course. Who? Now, who do you think? Oh, my God. Yes. I don't understand. What is it? Who are you talking about? Sam Willock. The district attorney? Why? Because he's trying to shake you. And you did just exactly what he expected. What do we do? Nothing. Nothing. Mr. Hazelrig, we can't just sit around and do it. Go home. You've done enough already. Just go home and keep your mouth shut. For God's sake, don't bunch up like this. You, you got guilty written all over you. But go on. And one other thing. Don't ever come over here again. For anything. Ever.
Well, we made it. And you know, after watching the beginning of this movie, that town is full of a bunch of rotten people. Most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. How did that lawyer, how did he lose that case? How did he lose? I don't know. Money. Somebody paid off the jury. Well, it always is, isn't it? It's terrible. It's always that way. It's terrible. Money talks. Man. Money talks. You know, it Money does. Money talks. Yeah, it does. You know, poor Bubba, you know, saves the girl, but shot down in cold blood. In cold blood, and, you know, he didn't even uh, have a chance. He didn't have a chance. Well, you know, they prop up the, you know, pitchfork and make it look like he was, like he was about to attack, <sighs> you know. Clearly. 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 That's Clearly. Not the case. Well, no, yes. No. You know, and his you arms know, tied to the thing. You know, Fugelson is, you know, credited as being the creator of the whole killer scarecrow genre from this movie. So this is the first one. Uh, apparently so. Wow. Yeah, apparently so. Wow. What year was Blood Corn? I don't know what year Blood Corn <laughs> was. Blood Corn. Corn on the Macabre. Corn on the Macabre. One of our favorites. So what, check it out. It's a great it's, it's film. It's great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. And you know, throughout this movie, Charles Durning does most of his own stunts. Now, that may not seem like much, but look at Charles Durning, man. He's not the, uh, you know, <laughs> He's not picture a of health. <laughs> He's not. He's not. No. He had to do some walking. A little bit of walking a here and there. I think, driving that Jeep. You know, he was driving that Jeep all around. He had to stick his, know, his uh, shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Durning. Now we've seen Charles Durning in uh, uh, Dog Day Afternoon. Dog Day Afternoon. Yeah. Uh, yeah when a stranger right. calls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. But we're waiting for some retribution. Waiting for it. Nobody has died yet. No. But it's coming. I hope you feel like we feel. We're kind of mad about it. We don't have the fear. We have the anger. They will have the fear soon enough. Oh, right? they will have yes, the fear. Oh, yes. So let's get back to Dark Knight the Scarecrow. Okay, you can come out now. Sam, I know what you're up to. Ah. Sam, let's quit playing games. I'm tired. Come on down, Sam. I gotta close this place up. Sam.
saying? Sheriff went by. Sheriff? Yep. Yeah. Was six o'clock when the ambulance went past, and it was six oh nine when the district attorney took out. District attorney? Here, Hazel Rig, you missed a flapjack. Yep. Went one right after the other. Went out of town like their tails were on fire. Say, Hazel Rig, that was Hawker over here last night, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Well, what do you know? You hear one minute, and the next one. Hawker ground himself up in his brush machine last night. Not innocent. He would have hurt somebody. He saved that girl's life. It could have been the other way around, no. couldn't it? But well, what about Mr. Mr. Harper? What about Harper? That was an accident. An accident? An accident? I'm telling you what they said. And you believe that? But what else? He was working, grinding brush all day. In the barn? In the middle of the night? He was drinking. They found a bottle out there. Judge ruled it an accident. As far as I'm concerned, that's, uh, that finishes it. Yeah, but they don't know everything, Mr. Hazelrig. They don't know about that scarecrow. <laughs> scarecrow? There wasn't any scarecrow. I looked. There wasn't anything out there. There was last night. Otis, Carlos was right. We're in trouble. Somebody knows. Not yet. But they will if you don't drop it. You said it was Sam Willick. Well, it don't look like that now. Because it was an accident. Now, don't try to make something it isn't. Then who turned the machine off? What? You said the machine was off when they found him. Ran out of gas. Give me that hold it. Oh. 
I wonder why they didn't think of this. Maybe they did. Good God, it's almost full. Well, then who turned it off? The same person who turned it on. What do you want? Package for you. You got your nerve. Just doing my job. Leave it in the box. Kate, got a sign for it. I don't. That's so. There's other justice in this world. Besides the law. It's a fact. What you sow, so shall you reap. An eye for an eye. Tooth for a tooth. Hand for a hand. Foot for a foot. A life for a life. Now, just a minute. You think that... Don't flatter yourself, Hazel Rigg. There ain't ten like you worth my son's life. Word to the wise, Mrs. Ritter. It's even now. Let it lie. Not hardly. It ain't even. Not so long as you're walking. You don't fool me, Hazel Rigg, not for a minute. I've seen how you look at that little. You may think you got the rest of them fooled, but I know exactly what you are. Stay away from her, Hazel Rigg. This is a small town. Everybody talks. You just remember what I told you, Hazel Rigg.
Guess who you are? Uh, fairy princess, right now, no, that's not. I know who it is. Mommy, right? Huh? Show your costume to Mrs. Ritter. Hmm? She's your friend, isn't she? Yeah, she was. She's mine too. But you didn't know that, did you? Huh? You know something? I think Mrs. Ruth is trying to play a joke on me and some of my friends. But she told you about it. Huh? Is it a secret? I bet that's what it is. It's a secret. Well, I can understand that. You can tell me. I won't say a word. You. you come whisper in my ear, and it'll still be a secret. I know what you did to Bubba. And you lied about him. Where'd you hear that? He told me. He told me everything. Lee, you know that's not true. Mrs. Ritter, wasn't it? She told you to say that. No. Yes, it was. Now, you tell the truth. And who was it? I told you it was Bubba. No, it wasn't, damn it. Bubba didn't tell you that. Bubba didn't tell you anything. Bubba's dead. I know. Hey, Lee! Hey, Lee! Hey, Lee! The party's up front. Can I get you something? Something to drink, please. Well, look, this one is plain, and this one is fixed. Forgot. You don't drink.
It was there. Thank you. We've gone over this ground a dozen times. Well, maybe it's just another part of the... No, it was here. Damn it, five or four dark. It's right here. Look at it. It's right here. Don't you look at me that way. I'm not crazy. Just like Carlos. Okay, okay. But why don't we go back in the morning? And have no. A... I can't wait till he's morning. At least let's be inside. Somebody's gonna see us out here and wonder. For God's sake, Chris. Is that all you can worry about? Somebody gonna see us and wonder? <laughs> Maybe we should just go tell the sheriff. Are you crazy? You want to spend the rest of your life in prison? Well, it's better than dying. Now you listen to me, or and you listen good. You got me into this now. You just think of something to get me out quick. Or I'm going in. You. I warned you, and I gave you a chance, and what you listen. Now I'm warning you for the last time. Stop it! I know it was you. I'm not gonna let you panic those men. No, I'm willing to make a trade. An eye for an eye. We're even. Okay? Stop it! Stop it, damn you! You listen to me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna let you go. Okay? Okay? No tricks this time, Amber. All right? I'm gonna let you go. Okay? Now. There's no reason for you and I to be going on.
pretty sure it started here in the kitchen. You can tell by the way the flames blew out. Any idea what caused it? Gas leak. You can still smell it. Intentional? No, I doubt it. I've seen this kind of thing before. These old folks, they let their equipment run down, the hoses, dry rot, leak, come loose. Look at what you get. Yeah. Suppose so. Still, <clears throat> tell you what, though. I'd like for you to look around a little more. See if you can find anything else. Well, man, we went over pretty close then. Looking for anything special? Just one shred. What? Huh? Nothing. Just want to be sure.
Mr. Hazelrig. Didn't hear you come in. Something's wrong. Philby. Huh. Huh. Uh, let me go. Let me go. Stop it. Let me go. What's an accident? You're lying. He had a heart attack. Well, which was it? Accidental or Both. Please. Found him this morning, bottom of a silo. Oh. The green. Oh. Oh, no. Don't panic, damn it! Hell no! I don't care! You listen to me! There's no reason to throw it all away now. No, no, I don't want to hear it! It was Bubba! No. Yes! He's dead! He's not! We killed him! I saw it! I was there! He's dead as a bone! We don't know! We left him there! Please, please, stop! Don't say any more! You twist everything around! I get so confused! The other night at the carnival, I saw the Williams girl. She told me that. I didn't believe it. She said she still sees him. She still <laughs> sees him, Skeeter! It's him! They it's always been him. him! They buried him. He's rotting on the five yards of ground. He's not! <laughs> he is! Make you a deal. No. You give me a chance. Don't run out, and I'll prove it to you. <laughs> huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. It's going to be all right. There it is. Oh. Uh, Mr. Hazelrig, maybe we shouldn't. We got you. We got to know.
Jake. Open it. <laughs> Mr. Hazelrig, if he's in there, I don't leave nobody but his spirit. Open it. Oh, oh my God! It, it's him! What? Get him! Stop! Come back! Get him! Like that, somebody see him like that, we'd really be in trouble. Uh, you want me to do it? No, no, I'll do it. I'll... That's the point. Uh. Mr. Hazelrig, uh, I have a cousin lives up in the hills in Arkansas. Just was way back there in the woods, there's just nobody around for miles. And in fact, all they got the dirt road for the last 12 miles getting up there. 
Oh. Oh. When I was a kid, I spent the summer there. Just beautiful country. Fishing. Great hunting. <laughs> Who's there? Sam? Listen, Sam. I know what this looks like, but I can explain. It was her, Sam. 
He was hurt all the time. Sam? Sam? Sam! Thank you, Bubba. You know what? Tomorrow, I think I'll teach you a new game. Did I ever show you how to play the chasing game? It's fun. You'll like it. It's sort of like playing fast.
Well, we've reached the end of Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. And I gotta say, I was waiting for each one of those dudes to get it. Very unlikable characters. Oh, completely. Yeah. And they do a good job of being unlikable. They do. Yeah, they the do. acting is great. And you know, I really like that the ending was supernatural. It wasn't uh, the DA in a mask. Right. Or it wasn't uh, It wasn't his mother. Right. It wasn't, I even thought for a while there, it might be the little girl. It's possible. Right. And, you know, you're wondering. But it is supernatural. It is. And I enjoy that as well. Oh, yeah. completely. Completely. Yeah. Because, you know, here at Newcastle After Dark, we enjoy the moral outcome of the story. Absolutely. They all had it coming. Oh. I also enjoy, um, you know, especially for the season, you know, there was that Halloween feel to this movie. You know, I mean, they're having a little Halloween party. Right. You know? Right. He's spiking his drink. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Just like you do. And, uh, of course, at the end, you know, uh, he's being chased through the pumpkin patch is where right. he is. Right. Yeah. So, um, it works on that level as well. Well, I was kind of hoping that tractor would run him over. <laughs> well, you want it to. You do. Yeah. You're like, you know, he should. they should all went in that wood chipper. Right. <laughs> right. They should all went in there. Right. Right. But... Stick around because this is our intermission. We got another one coming up for you, and uh, so do what you got to do: refill your drink, uh, use the restroom, and uh, get ready for our second feature. Absolutely. <laughs> 